What destroys Leviathan? Do you remember? <laughs> Absolutely, I remember. Humility Ooh. destroys Leviathan. Is that crazy? Humility You'd think a, kills it. You know, a knife or sword or something, you know. But it's humility. That's what it says. The greatest weapon against Leviathan is humility. Yes. Just the other day, I had a little conversation with three of my daughters. And we were actually in your office, Jim. And it got a little heated because I finally had gotten to a point where I'd had enough. And so I said, okay, well, you're saying this about this and this and this and just kind of called them out because I'm the disciplinarian in the family <laughs> and don't even like to be to adult children, but had to be. And everyone kind of left out, huffed, you know, everyone's upset. The next morning, one of my daughters, they walk in my office and one comes right up to me and says, Mom, please forgive me. And I went, just killed the spirit of Leviathan that tried to twist and turn and, and get it all stirred up and make us all mad at each other. I said, oh, my goodness, this is so beautiful. It was a beautiful example of, of you being, of course, I had already forgiven them in my heart, but for her to ask for it was a beautiful thing because it nipped it right in the bud. And, and it happens, though, easily in, in, in families, and, you, and especially between husbands and wives. You have to be really, really careful when it comes to your you husbands and your wives. Just saying, I'm sorry. Just saying, I'm sorry. Just saying, Please let's make me. up. Let's, let's not or be just mad. Forget about Let, it. Let's, you don't have to be stubborn and no. angry and mad. Yeah. But that simple, yeah. I'm sorry. Jim used to always Forgive say to me, me this all the time, and I never understood this saying, and maybe you've heard it, and then I, I've recently just heard it again from somebody else in my life, but you used to always say to me, Lori, you have to get that pound of flesh. You always have to get that pound of flesh. Like that last, I guess that means that last word, that pound. I don't know what it really means. I'm just like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess I do. But then I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't that important. It's important to understand this spirit of Leviathan yes. is twisting everything. And a, a humility can cut it off. Yes. Greater is he that's in you. Remember that. Yeah. Jesus Christ has come to earth yeah. to defeat this twisted snake you know, called I, Satan. I just, I just remembered something real quick that... My pastor, Tommy Barnett, from Phoenix First Assembly of God in Phoenix, Arizona, taught me. He always used to teach us all the time that even if you weren't the one that was in the wrong, ask for forgiveness. Just go and just ask for forgiveness. 